mean to tell me that Arsenal couldn't beat Fulham or Aston Villa? And that's the reason why we're not going to win the league title. Yet, we've taken six points against Man United, four against Chelsea, four against Man City, four against Liverpool and four against Tottenham. Unbeaten against those five teams I just mentioned. I can't believe it as an Arsenal fan. Um, we have won more games this season than the Invincibles. Yet it's not enough to win the league title because we couldn't beat Fulham earlier in the season. I can't believe it. And you know what? The funniest thing is, is that we've had refereeing decisions go against us earlier on and it's biting us in the arsehole. Remember when Gabriel got pushed and that goal was given? That stopped us getting a nil-nil draw against Newcastle. Because that, that was a nil-nil draw all game. Newcastle didn't even deserve the win. You mean to tell me that Gabriel Jesus got fouled by Douglas Luiz, wasn't given a penalty after McGinn's goal, but then Matty Cash handballs it, the ball goes in the back of the net, but it's no penalty because Havertz is a judge to handball it, even though Cash handballed it first. That's what's stopping Arsenal from winning the league, that Iwobi and Leno and William could perform against Arsenal in the 2-1 win at their ground, Craven Cottage. But they opened their backs out to get annihilated by Man City yesterday. I can't believe it. I can't believe that. That those three games where we drop points in back-to-back -back games are the reason why we don't win the league again. We lost one game all year, and that was to Man City. I mean, not, we lost one game all, all 2024 in the Prem. And that's what's stopping us from winning the league. Villa. I can't believe it, man. I actually can't believe it. Even when we played against Charleston, we came back from 2-0 down. The referee was absolutely terrible that game, giving Cole Palmer a penalty for a handball, even though the ball was going wide. And it was hit straight into Saliba's hand where he couldn't do nothing. And we've had to referee decisions that have gone against us even in wins. I can't even be mad at Arsenal or the players. 37 games of Arsenal being so good. I'm proud. I'm proud to be an Arsenal fan. The only time I felt let down was probably Fulham away. And... The games in the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, you know. But Zinchenko, a couple of moments of madness earlier on in the season. A couple of the goal errors he was a part of. Ramsdale being a like, couple of errors. But they've been okay for us. And we've, Arteta has made the necessary changes. Everyone wants to moan about Havertz being bad this season, but he's been great for us. Another assist today for Trossard, who's been out. Stoppable this season with important goals in big games. You're telling me we didn't lose to City and Man United and Tottenham. If you told me that five years ago, I would have been running marathons, but I'm confused. You're telling me we could go out there against the best teams in the Premier League and not lose. And then go to Man United and Tottenham, one of our biggest rivals, and get four points. It's incredible. But we beat Tottenham last season, home and away, and we couldn't do that this season. And that's what's denying us a league title. We, uh, I'm gutted not to win the Premier League, right? If, we, if Man City do beat Tottenham and West Ham, it is what it is. If either of those two teams stop Man City from winning the league, I will get a tattoo on my bum cheek. And I will, nah, I will shave my beard off. I will shave my beard off, yeah? The most liked comment, yeah, will be the tattoo I'll get on my bum cheek. Facts. And I'll shave my beard. If for, if West Ham and Tottenham stop Man City from winning the league, that'll be done. But I'm proud of Arsenal. Anyways, I'm proud to be a Gooner. 27 wins in the Premier League this season. With 14 clean sheets in the league. We're getting better and better. Got the highest goal difference in England. 
the highest goal scorer in England, best defensive record in the league, but we're not winning the Premier League because 115 charges and a few refereeing decisions. Whatever, man.